Hey guys, as you can see I've got my smartphone gimbal here and what I'd like to do in this video is show you how you can connect an external microphone to your gimbal. This gimbal is designed for smartphones but most of what I'm going to be showing you is applicable to gimbals designed for action cameras or for larger cameras. And I'd actually set up this camera before to record this video. I thought I'd be able to show you things a little bit closer but I think it just makes it a little bit easier just to use my webcam and then I can just put things towards the camera. So the smartphone gimbal that I've got here is the Moza Mini Me. And check out my unboxing of this. Check out my first impressions video that I did yesterday. But this has got a few selling points, one of which being that you can wirelessly, uh, wirelessly charge your phone. But the other one being that most gimbals have a tripod thread there. This one also has one at the back and also one at the top and bottom of your smartphone grip. So in addition to the bottom tripod thread, I've got a lot of different options here. And depending on the gimbal that you buy, you might have maybe one or two extra tripod threads. And you're going to have to utilize these if you do want to connect an external microphone. Now, as far as actually using the gimbal, I did a video on my other YouTube channel about an hour or two ago. Um, I just published it. And you can see that the video is fairly stable. I'm still getting used to it. Um, but when I recorded that video, I did use an external microphone and I want to talk about how I set that up. Now, if you're looking for something simple, then you may have to go for a microphone that maybe isn't as good as you would like. The Generally speaking, the bigger the microphones are, the better they are. And I know that isn't always the case, but the reason I'm saying this is that if you look at something like the Rode VideoMic Me, this is a very simple microphone that you can attach. And you can see here, it just it just clips onto your phone. It can also be adapted and clipped onto, um, it could be clipped to something else as well. You can use an adapter and connect it to another um, camera or something, put it on the hot shoe. But it was designed for phones, you know, it was really designed for phones. Um, other cameras, you could maybe, um, you know, put your external microphone on the top in the hot shoe. But one of the main problems that you're going to have with doing that is weight. Whereas you put the, the microphone on top of the camera or, of, or on top of your phone and it's going to put a little bit extra weight. And that is a problem that I've had already. Uh, and to be honest, I'm, I'm having problems with all of these positions. I'm having problems connecting a microphone at the top, at the bottom and at the back here. So I want to explain that and explain why because... I mainly bought this not for the wireless charging, uh, the wireless charging feature. I bought this for the tripod thread mounts, but um, I'm, I'm tempted to buy the video mic me just so that it just attaches to the side here. But as I said, that's a very small microphone, and it will be better than the built-in mics on my phone. But it's not going to be as good as some of the other external microphones that I've got. Like there's the video micro that's like a little step up. I've got a Shure VP83 as well. But again, when those, you know, those microphones, the bigger generally are better in that regard. So I'll quickly go through and I'll just try and show you some of the problems that I'm facing. Um, one is like I've got a lot of these little tripod adapters now. So these are the thing. This is a, a quarter to quarter inch tripod thread, right? And I've got, I've literally got a bag of these. I've literally got a full bag of these. They all came from China, very, very cheap to order from China. Um, you can get them from Amazon, etc., as well. And those are a lot of different adapters that I can use um, to attach. Actually, for this one, I had to use a 3 8 to 1 8 because for whatever reason, the Rode Video Micro has a 3 8 adapter. Now, it's kind of, I've, I've kind of generally got it calibrated right now. It's maybe a little bit off center, but. One of the problems that you're going to face with this particular one is weight. And you're going to get that, you know, in any gimbal. If you attach a microphone to the top um, like that, you're going to get a little bit extra weight. And you see how it's hanging down now. Now, I could obviously use the motors and I could level it out like that and I'll use the battery up, but it's going to put a lot of stress under it. Uh, it's going to put a lot of stress on the, the actual gimbal. I mean, look how, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of weight, but look how much that's changed it there. And I could maybe get it balanced a little bit better, but the idea there is that just a little bit extra weight can be significant when you're, you know, you're trying to get everything balanced and calibrated. Another problem that I've got here, which you may not have noticed, is that the microphone is facing the other way. Now, for some people, that's fine. That's exactly what you want. For me... It's not what I want because generally speaking, when I'll be using this at a conference later this month, 
you know, I've got the microphone facing that way, but generally speaking, when I'll be using this and I'll be walking about with the gimbal, I will mainly have it on selfie mode. Now, a lot of external microphones like this, this is like a little mini shotgun mic, is the, the the polar pattern is generally, you know, facing that way, but you get you still pick up audio from behind you. But I would prefer the microphone to face me. Now the reason that's facing the wrong way is because of this tripod thread. Now, most of the tripod threads that you see, and you're gonna to have to use accessories like this, whether you like it or not, um, most of these tripod threads, in my experience, are a little bit of a pain. They, because they thread in a certain way and then they stop at a certain point. For this one, it faces the other way, but I've used this on other tripods where it, the, the microphone is kind of at an angle and I couldn't change it. The other thing is these tripod uh, thread adapters, you can't get them out with your finger. Now that isn't practical because obviously um, if I'm traveling to America, I'm not going to take a, a pair of pliers with me to get this off, but I need to do that in order to get that off. So it's not really that practical. Now, I have, I've got a ton of accessories here. Um, things like this, these kind of ball heads, too big. They are too big. Now, I've got a few of these little things. Uh, and again, you can pick these up from China very, very easily as well. And th they're actually quite useful to have. Um, I might actually see if there's any variations of these to, you know, maybe set up something different later on. Um, this would actually fit into a hot shoe. So this is designed, if I can show you here, um, this has got a hot shoe so I can just slide it in. So that's quite useful for put, putting into the top of a camera, but it's not exactly what I need for my gimbal. But the reason I'm the, the reason I'm talking about this one is because my gimbal here, the Moza Mini Me, allows me to um, use the back tripod thread. So you can see the tripod thread here, and when I've got this screwed on, I'll do that just now. Um, Come on, come on, come on. See, doing this live, there's always problems. Right. Yeah, I'm connected now. Right. <laughs> Get the phone out of the way. Um, so this is actually one of the better options. So I use this with another few adapters and you can tighten it up there. And you can see what I'm trying to do there. I'm effectively trying to get a right angle. I'm getting a right angle there so that the microphone can, you know, face towards me. So I've got it like that and then the microphone would go like that. I've got another adapt, I'm using something else just now, but essentially we go like that and then I would put the, the microphone like that and the mic would go like that. Now, that kind of worked okay and I did some tests with it and it seemed okay. The problem that I had with it is that the way, well one one is the adapter here is kind of, it, it, it seems strong but then it hits a certain point and it goes a little bit weak. When, you know, the weight of the microphone is there, it's, it seems okay there, and it gets to there, and it kind of just slides off, and then you end up with the microphone down here. But that isn't the only problem. What you'll find is when you're using your gimbal, and, you know, it, it seems ideal to have it at the back here and just have it at the right angle. It works great with your hand and all that, and the microphone isn't too much in the way. But when you're moving the, the, um, the gimbal like this, and you've got it at a funny angle, you're moving around, the microphone nearly always gets into the shot. Now that's especially if you're using a dead cat. If you're using something like this, you're you're always going to get it in the shot. You know, if you're so close to your camera or your smartphone. And what I found was the microphone was like that, like there. But then when you lean it down, sometimes and sometimes you do want to do that. You use the joystick and you you know you'll spin it around. You'll catch either the dead cat or you'll catch the microphone itself, depending on you know whether you've got it on or not. So it'll sit there like that, and if you go at a certain angle, you will see the microphone. Ideally, you don't want to show your microphone in your footage. You you know, you just don't. Um, now, of course, there are some other options as well. You can use a lavalier mic, but that's not going to work if you're in an environment where you're trying to pick up, you know, two or three people. Like me going to a conference, a lavalier, a lavalier mic works with me in a room myself, but not if I'm talking to other people. So, to summarize, I bought this smartphone gimbal because of these additional tripod threads, but the reality is that if I put a little bit too much, you know, this is a very light microphone, one of the lightest you can buy, but even putting that on it really puts the weight on the gimbal and it's very hard to calibrate and get it there. And you're going to make your gimbal work a lot more. The motors have to work more to balance it if you put too much weight there. So it kind of rules out these top ones. You really can't put too much weight onto these tripod threads. The back one is okay, but 
if you're going to use the back one, you might have to use some sort of bl bracket like this. And if you use a bracket like this, maybe you can get your bracket or, you know, and use some sort of tripod adapter, you know, some sort of um, little ball head. And maybe you get the right angle, to, you know, the right angle to get your microphone. But you have to be conscious of the fact that if your microphone is very close to your smartphone or camera, it's maybe going to pick it up. You know, when you're do if you're just standing still, you know, if I, if I turn this on, so if I'm sitting there and I'm just moving it around like that, left to right, it's very basic and, and you know, I've just got it stationary at the one, the one angle, that isn't going to be a major problem. But when, when you um, are, are tilting it up or down like that, there's a very uh, high chance of the microphone getting caught in the shot. So that is the problem. So yeah, I've bought this before the, the, the tripod head at the back and the top and the bottom, but admittedly, it is a bit harder to, to put a microphone there. Now, I was talking about a bracket there, and a bracket is what most people use. If you look at the other um, the other uh, gimbals on the market, at least for the smartphone range, they've all got tripod threads in the bottom, the DJI Osmo Mobile 2, the, the Smooth 4, I think it is, um, and there's a few others like that, and they all have a tripod, uh, a tripod thread at the bottom. So the only option that people have is to use some sort of bracket. This is an L bracket, but you can get one that's just straight, and the idea being that you just position it like that and then you can attach your microphone. I didn't think I'd wanted to do that, but ultimately, this is what I've designed. So, I'll put this down just now just to explain what's going on here. This is the little tripod that actually came with the gimbal. Um, this is my Shure VP83, and as I said, it's a little bit bigger than my Rode Video Micro. Um, I need to decide which one to use. This one's a much better microphone, but um, it's bigger as well, and it's battery powered. Pros and cons. So, this is how I recorded that video earlier. So, that video that I showed you earlier, um, this is how I set it up. So, I set up the tripod like that. You know, I can set it like that. Like, it still stays up, and then I just need to tighten this up. Um, and then this connects to the top here. So, this is the setup that I had earlier. This is it. And, obviously if this is spinning around 360 degrees, you would have an issue with the cable. And that, But you're going to have an issue with that, whatever you do. You know, if, you, if you're panning around 360 degrees, you're going to have to come back. Um, I'll show you what I mean now. So, I'll switch this on. It's all calibrated. If I go round, you can see the cable is going to start tangling up at one point. Now, that is understandable. That's what's going to happen. So you need to be careful of that and make sure it doesn't go all the way around. If this came out whilst you're recording, it could be a major problem. You know, if you're live streaming via YouTube, you could uh, it might stop the stream or maybe it'll be muted the rest of it. Maybe you can't just plug it back in. Um, so this is a few cool features like you can put it around the other way like that, and then bring it back. But this actually works quite well. The reason I've got the little tripod is simply so that I can set it down. Um, depending where I set it, sometimes it's balanced, sometimes it's not. Seems to be a little bit too, more to the side there. Um, see, it's working now. Um, but yeah, it works out It works out quite well. So if I, um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you this on the, on the webcam. Hopefully I can. Um, but, okay, so you should be able to see that now. So, the benefit of this, in comparison to the other option, what I was talking about before was, if the mic is there, when I'm leaning down like that, this would get caught up in the shot, um, if I choose the right camera. Use the front camera, use the front camera. I've not connected it, that's why. Right, I need to turn this around. And look at that, the app has crashed. My god, I'm recording a video here, guys, what are you doing to me? Um, connected camera. Right, so this is one of the things I like about the app is that you can just push up and it'll switch from the back camera to the front camera like it's done there. So I'll move that around and you should hopefully be able to see it now. See like if I'm doing like this, the microphone would get caught up sometimes in some of the videos. But with this setup, it doesn't happen. The microphone is, is out the way. So with this current setup here, this one here, 
the, the microphone is kind of out of the way and it doesn't c get caught up in any of the spins or anything like that. As long as the cable doesn't get twisted around too much, this is going to work. Now, of course, a bracket and a microphone does add weight. And I won't lie to you, I, I took a, I ended up taking two um, shots to get the video earlier on because the first one was noise in the background. So I recorded it again and I must admit, I don't know if it's because I went to the gym this morning, but after a while, your hand does get a little bit tired from holding it. The gimbals get weight, the phones get weight, the microphone, the bracket and the little tripod, they've all got weight. Um, but as far as what I'm trying to do, this works well. So you can see it there. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say this is the ultimate setup for your gimbal. There might be other people who say that. I don't think this is the ultimate setup. Um, with the, the Moza Mini Me, I admittedly have a few different more, you know, I have a few uh, more options, a few different options that other gimbals don't have with the tripod threads at the top and the bottom and at the back here. But in many ways, they're kind of pointless because if you add too much weight here, I'll turn this off, um, if you add too much weight, then it, it, it kind of hangs down and it doesn't sit right. Also at the back, as I was saying, when you put this camera and you put it a little bit too high, the, the phone either catches it or it, it gets it in the shot. Either way, it's not good. So ideally, in any kind of mic setup, you want to keep the microphone a little bit away from all the spinning and anything that could get cut up because you have to remember when you've got a gimbal, um, you know, I've got it off just now, that's why it's spinning around like that. Um, when you've got a gimbal, oh, look what it's doing. That is all tangled up. Um, I need to spin that around now. Oh, go the other way. When you've got a gimbal, um, there's going to be certain situations where you've got it like low or you've got it like that, and it will pick up the microphone if it's anywhere close to it. So bear that in mind, guys. Bear that in mind. If you look at, I encourage you to look at other videos on YouTube about this. I do encourage you to do that. And if you do look at other videos about how to attach an external microphone to your gimbal, you'll see many variations of this. It will be some sort of bracket or it'll be some sort of strap or something. Um, if I can, I've seen some people doing this as well. Sorry about that, I'm hitting the microphone. I've seen some people do, using this as well. Um, see, that's too top heavy now, so I can't set that down. Um, I've seen some people, what they're doing is, that's maybe a little bit better. What they're doing is like attaching an external microphone using just a, a Velcro grip. And the idea being, you you know, you would just kind of wrap this around like that and then just wrap it around your gimbal. Obviously, I've not prepared for this. This was a spur of the moment thing to say. Um, but the, the idea is you just tie it around and you, t you maybe just tie it around using a grip like that. It's something you might be able to do depending on the, the gimbal that you're using and depending on the microphone that you're using. I do think the Rode Video Mic Me, if you've got a smartphone, could be a good option simply because of its small foot footprint. You know, this is a very, this is a very, very small microphone. It's relatively cheap as well. You're talking like 40 pounds in the UK, maybe $50 in the USA. It's not a very expensive microphone and it will, you know, it should do the job. But of course, that mic isn't good as good as that mic, and this mic isn't as good as that mic. So it's going to have a smaller footprint, but it's going to be small. It's a smaller footprint, but the audio might not be as good. And this is the compromise that you're going to have when you're attaching an external microphone to your gimbal. A larger microphone is all good if it gives you better audio, but if it adds more weight, if it's you know in the way, if you have to add brackets, then maybe a simpler solution is better. Um, as I said, I don't think this is the ultimate solution out there. I think it's the best solution for me right now because I had two or three, lying, uh, uh, two or three of these lying around. I've built variations of this before for my phone and I attach my RX100 to an, an audio record. This is why I have these. But I could look into some other adapters, some other uh, brackets, sorry. There's maybe a better bracket out there. This one does actually work quite well. And, and you can see there, when I moved... The, the gimbal from over there to the middle, it's a lot more secure as far as balance goes. So I could set this down somewhere. And that's something I want to do. I want to be able to set this down on a table and then, you know, just pan around and maybe do a panorama or something like that. So there's a lot of options out there. If the audio built into your phone isn't too bad and you're happy with it, 
if you're in a, a low noise environment, you're not outside, then you might just want to use the audio ball into your camera or your smartphone. But if you use an external microphone, you're going to have some more options. You can, you know, I've got a dead cap for that microphone and for this one. And outside, that's going to be very useful to reduce uh, wind noise. That's where smartphones are going to be really, really bad. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. My um, gimbal external microphone. There's a lot of variations of this out there. This is the one I've built. It didn't take me long to set up. All you need is an L bracket. You can use a, a stationary bracket as well, just a, a, a straight line bracket. But the, the principle is the same. If if I had a straight bracket, obviously this wouldn't be at a right angle. It would be just, you know, flat going along. But I tested this today um, and it does work well. There's a, there's a little bit of handling noise every now and then because, you know, my hand was getting in the way. But generally speaking, this works very, very well. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you don't, you know, build this exact solution, that's fine. I, I'm just, hopefully I've given you some food for uh, food for thought. Hopefully I've given you some ideas as to what you can do. Um, there's a lot of accessories and, you know, little things that you can buy to try and make this work. One of the things that I've got here, um, that you might not be able to see there. I don't know if you can see it there, but see here, this is a little tripod hot shoe adapter. Now that's very useful because what it allows me to do, um, if I can untighten this. The benefit of having a hot shoe um, insert there, if I can get there, is that I can, where is it, where's the front? Ah, there it's there. Um, the benefit of that is that I can, if I stop tightening this, I can change this for another external microphone quite easily. There we go, there it's eventually coming off. Um, so what I could do now is use um, the Rode Video Micro, so I can just slide it into this hot shoe. And that's the way that I've got it. Now, now I can use this microphone and admittedly this one's a little bit stiff. Um, but yeah, I've got a, a hot shoe adapter there. And that's a very cool accessory that, you, that I recommend checking out as well because if you've got something like that, you can switch microphones fairly easily. So there might be certain situations where you opt for the larger mic and there might be other situations where, you know, you think you're inside, there's not a lot of wind noise, a, a basic mic will do. But if you've got that little hot shoe adapter there, You've got, the, you know, you've got the option of doing that. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know if you've got any better ideas in this. If you've set up something different, please do post a picture or leave a comment or something. But I think this is one of the, the better setups that you can do. It's very simple as well. Just an L bracket at the bottom of the gimbal and it will allow you to attach an external microphone or perhaps even some more accessories if you don't mind the extra weight, if you want to add a light or something else like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do leave a comment and me and my smartphone gibble will speak to you very soon. Cheers.